Very soon we'll be taking you also to the Jubilee House where we're expecting President Okufado to continue with the announcement of the CIs giving uh, giving legal backing to the establishment or the creation of new regions. It's happening at the moment, and we can go to the Jubilee House right now. Bobi, Foko, Kwapon, Hene, Nana, Amwaku, Jampa, Abom, Hene, Nana, Boachi, Dankwa, Fahuya, Oden, Hene, Opuna, Wissie, Redu, Bempon, Kasapin, Hene. It says, as the president, Every paramount, every traditional council uh, were represented by two uh, chiefs from the traditional council. We have the first item, we have traditional council, the two Nananum are Nana Pepra Afrane, Nana Asamoa for the two traditional councils. In total traditional council, we have Nana Jan Katachia the first. Nana Kwasi Amwa the first. Bechem traditional council, the two are Nana Boatin Obin, Nana Opoku Jumo, Kenya Sunamwa traditional council, Nana Boache Boatin Jabuo, Nana Yao Ajay for Kenya number one, Kenya number two traditional council, Nana Opare Ado, Nana Asuka Bonri for Kenya number two. Go so traditional council, the two are Nana Onshra Poku. Nana Asamoa for the two. I transfer to the council. Nana Adusi Poku Konkonko. Nana Kwachi Ababio. I transfer to the council. Kukum, traditional council. Oheniba Atachi One. Nana Ochi Ensia for Kukum. Hidium, traditional council. Nana Ensia Ewea. Nana Kumi for Kuo. Hidium. Sankwari, traditional council. Nana Anchi Bo Siako. Nana Kwaku Aduse Sankwari. Akodie Traditional Council. Nana Opon Chechaku. And then Nana Che Bafo for Akodie. Dian Kwanta Traditional Council. Nana Amia Basua. And Nana Opoku Nyakabi. Dian Kwanta. The last traditional council, the 13th one, is Mem Traditional Council. Nana Nkrumah Brobe, who doubles as the vice. President of our Development Association, Accra Tema Branch. Nana Boache Ajenim for. So that's obviously a member of the chiefs who is uh, acknowledging the presence of all of the traditional leaders there at the Jubilee House, but, the still is the, but they're still doing so uh, in anticipation of the key announcement by President Akufuado about what is going to be the capital of the new Ahafo region. We're there live and we'll be going there to bring you some more details. And we're still counting down to the announcement of which will be the capital for the Ahafo region. President Akufuado is supposed to do that in a few minutes. But before that, the minister in charge of this project, Dan Botri, is speaking. We can go to the Jubilee House live and hear him. <laughs> Mr. President, on the 28th of February 2017, the Council of Ahafu Chiefs sent a petition to your high office. And the petition was signed by Nana Ansa Aduba Omahe of Yamfu Traditional Area, President of Ahafu Council of Chiefs. And that was what was on their letter here. Mr. President, Yesterday, we talked about the vision and the commitment to fulfill the basic fundamental desire of the people of Ghana. Attached to the petition they sent to you on 28th of February 2017 was copies of petitions that have been sent to the former governments. And Mr. President, I have the copies here. You can clearly show that these were used typed by a typewriter, not by a computer. We have references from Ahafu Youth Association, and then you have those from the Council of Chiefs. Mr. President, we have the ones written as far back as 19. 86 to the PNDC chairman, 
asking for the creation of a half a region. So it's clear that the quest for a half a region had taken really a long time. Council of Ahafo Parliament Chiefs, P.O. Bus 4, Achilles 28 February 1987. Resolution in support of the petition sent by the Ahafo Youth Association on 28 February 1986 for the creation of the Ahafo region. And we have the signatories here, Nana Asua Javifi, Momahine of the second Bechem, Nana Kwabi Bonsu, Omahine of Shudim, Nana Kwekwe Chapa, Omahine of Kenya, so number one, Nana Ansa Aduba, Omahine of Yamfo, and Mr. President, it continues. Then you have others too that were sent to by the Ahavu Council of Chiefs, Ahavu Youth Associates, PO Boss 1, Gosso, 3rd December 1990. The chairman, PNDC, PO Boss 1627, Castle Usu, to the regional secretary, petition for the creation of Ahavu Region. Reminder, we attach herewith, for your kind consideration, a reminder to our earlier petitions dated 28 February 1986. 6 April 1987, and that of the Council of Ahafo Parliament Chiefs dated 28 February 1987, copy attached. We humbly implore your generosity and indulgence in this matter in the hope that you will give the petitions the consideration they deserve. Yours sincerely, Ekwia Mwabwatin, Acting Executive Secretary of the Youth Association. Then in 2003, Another petition was sent to the Honorable Minister of Local Government. So the petition for the creation of Ahafu has started long ago. In fact, the first one was PO Boss, PO Post Office Boss 1, K Post Office Boss 1, Gosso Ahafu. That was the earlier one sent on 28 February 1986. There was a discussion on Ahafu and its people. Before the British came, the British ruled. After the restoration of the Confederacy in 1935, creation of Brown Alpha region, the plight of Ahafos in the Brown Alpha region, administration of the Brown Alpha region, potentialities of the Alpha region, Coco, Timber, This did receive attention from you. You proceeded to set a commission of inquiry chaired by eminent jurist Justice Brobe. They presented their report. You proceeded to follow the constitutional provisions. And now, after the Council of State advice, we have followed the procedure with your kind guidance and the number of times we consulted you. You had the patience to give us the guidance today. All the processes for you to give them the final instrument, official instrument. As Dan Boche is speaking, there are some hitches in his transmission. So let's tell you what happened earlier this morning as we wait on the president to make that crucial announcement. Well, many sat on tenter hooks as President Okufado prepared to meet Nananum and present the constitutional instrument that will complete, that completed the creation of the Bono East region. Uh, the fear stemmed from protest in Nkranza on Monday as a chief and youth there demanded that Nkranza be named the capital of the new region. While Techiman was the other candidate uh, city for, cap for the capital. Today, President Okufado gave the verdict to Techiman. But unlike the violent protest in Salaga, which followed the naming of Damango as the capital of the Savannah region, good reason prevailed and the youth of Nkuranza responded in what many have described as civil. We'll take you there shortly. But first, let's bring you how the event panned out at the Jubilee House when Nananum appeared before President Kufado to hear the name of their new regional capital.
been criminal. A seed capital for Bruno East to help in the establishment of the needed infrastructure for the smooth takeoff of the region. I know one of the concerns of the coalition in Bono East had to do with, quote, appointments to government positions and feelings of marginalization. You will thus be glad to know that soon you will have your own minister hailing from Bron East. Until the appointment of a substantive regional minister for Bron East, I have asked the current regional minister for Bron East, for Bron Ahafo, the Honorable Evans Opokubo MP, to act as caretaker minister. I'm happy to inform you that Tachiman has been chosen as the capital. <laughs> I want to assure re residents of the region, however, the government projects and structures will be equitably spread across the region. So, Nananum, ladies and gentlemen, this is the day we begin to write the story of growth and accelerated development of the Northeast region. This can only happen if we work together and eschew all forms of narrow parochial interests. Our forefathers who fought for our nation's independence with their sweat, toil, and blood envisaged us to be a progressive and prosperous nation. And I'm confident that the development of Bro East will contribute to the making of the great nation of Ghana we all desire. That was President Okufado earlier this morning. Now, representatives of the people of Bono East were full of praise for the president uh, uh, for this gesture. But here is Minister for Regional Reorganization, Dan Boche, who was earlier accused by the youth and chiefs of Nkranza of manipulating the process not to bring the capital to Nkranza. He spoke earlier at the Flagstaff House, at the Jubilee House as well. All the petitions were sent to the Council of State for advice, the Ministry for Regional Reorganization and Development undertook consultations and sensitization program throughout the regions. In May, we went Western, Brown and Hafu, Volta, and Northern regions. We met all the regional House of Chiefs, not only from, that, from the petition, prisoners and cliff, but the entire regional house of chiefs. And they gave us advice and guidance on how to go about our work. Mr. President, we also met all members of parliament from the petitioned regions. And this one, we do not only meet members of parliament from the enclave, but all members of parliament. Mr. President, we also met the president and members of the National House of Chiefs. When the commission was appointed under Justice Brobe, we also took them to all the regional House of Chiefs and they had consultations with them. Again, the commission also met with the National House of Chiefs, again, that's for the second time, and they also had consultations with them. So there have been very, very deep consultations. This is before the commission undertook the public hearing exercise in all of these six petitioned areas. So, Mr. President, a lot of consultation has taken place. This is an exercise, as you indicated yesterday, that many of our chiefs and our people have long petitioned several governments. So it's not something that has just come up. And I want to place on record my appreciation or the support we had from the chiefs. Mr. President, the chiefs gave us guidance, they gave us advice, and they met us any time we wanted to see them, both in private and in public. I may want to... So that is Dan Boche, the, the minister in charge of this project. Well, let's hear from the, uh, the representatives from Bono East and how they were elated about this announcement. Permit me to convey the deepest appreciation of the chiefs 
and people of the Bono East region for faithfully honoring your promise to create more regions to accelerate development and deepen local governance in Ghana. We are particularly appreciative of the fact that the coalition of chiefs for Bono East were the last to submit our petition in June 2017. That's why the lateness in the submission of our petition, Your Excellency was patient enough to receive it and consequently referred it to the Council of State for advice and necessary action. Had it not been your patience and commitment to development, the chiefs and people of the Bono East would not have been here today, would, would have been here today to witness this history. Pursuant to the referendum held by the Electoral Commission, that gave credence to this noble cause. We recorded 85% turnout and over 99% yes boost. Today, Your Excellency has called us to officially hand over the new region to us. Your Excellency, you have been faithful to the chiefs and the people of Bono East. And this gives us confidence and assurance that the new regime will see massive development for the Well, we've been live in Nkranza hearing from some of the youth who were agitated earlier. But right now, we need to go to the Jubilee House. President Akufado is about to make that very key announcement. Eminent clergy, Vice President, Chairperson and members of the Council of State, Chief of Staff at the Office of the President, Minister for Regional Reorganization and Development, Minister for Chieftaincy and Religious Affairs, Bronger Half a Regional Minister and his Deputy, Ministers and Deputy Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, Chairperson and Members of the Broby Commission, President of the Bronger Half a Regional House of Chiefs, your Mahini of Yeji Traditional Area, Pima Pim Yal Cabrese V, the President of the Council of Ahafu Chiefs, Nana Ansel Eduba, the second Omahine of Yanfu traditional area. Other members of the Hafu Council of Chiefs, Amahine, Amahima, Nananum, elders and members of the delegation from Ahafu region, the chairperson and executives of the Middle Belt Development Authority, fellow Ghanaians, ladies and gentlemen. I first of all to welcome you warmly to the seat of our nation's presidency, Jubilee House. In a few minutes, I'll present the constitutional instrument to the head of the delegation, symbolizing the coming into effect of the Ahafu region. After years of continuous petitions submitted to successive administrations, military and civilian, for the creation of this region, which yielded no results. The chiefs and people of Achirinshua, Bechem, Dwaya Mkwanta, Gosso, Kukum, Sankori and Tema, and Tepa have finally had their wish fulfilled. I say a big congratulations for your determination and tenacity for staying the course and eventually seeing this through. Aiko. As I indicated yesterday, 
at the ceremony for the northeastern Savannah regions. The clamor for the reorganization of administrative regions in our country has long historical antecedents. In the case of Ahafo, it dates back to nearly 40 years. Indeed, the petition of the, for the creation of this region was first submitted in 1981. And barely eight weeks into my mandate, on 28 February 2017, this same petition was submitted to me. I referred, in accordance with the dictates of the Constitution of the Republic, in Article 52A, on 26 June 2017, the petition to the Council of State for its advice. And on 15th August 2017, the Council advised that a Commission of Inquiry be established to determine whether or not there was a need and substantial demand for the creation of the proposed Ahafu region. What struck me in particular was the number of participants from Ahafu who were present at the public hearings held by the nine-member Commission of Inquiry, headed by the eminent jurist, the retired Justice of the Supreme Court, Mr. Justice S. A. Bruby. In all, 20,203 people attended the five public hearings conducted in Ahafu. Those who spoke at these hearings did so with a unanimity of voice and were resolute in their conviction that the creation of Ahafu region would accelerate the development of the area and thereby result in an improvement in the quality of the lives of its residents. Indeed, when residents of Ahafu had to fulfill the threshold stipulated by the Constitution, on 27 December 2018, they recorded the highest turnout of any of the other referenda on the day. That is 90.42% of the registered electorate. Out of the 277,663 who cast their ballot, 276,000 763, representing 99.67%, voted yes. With the Ahafu region home to large deposits of gold, diamond, iron ore, and bauxite, and with significant percentage of the nation's food produce coming from there, the potential for development clearly exists. Residents of Ahafo are of the firm belief that there will be better access to government institutions, better population to service ratios, enhanced employment, and increased socioeconomic activities, and increased investment opportunities. It is thus only fitting that government helps to accelerate the, the development of this region. Within one week of the declaration of the results, I constituted on 3rd January 2019 a seven-member government committee chaired by the dynamic and sagacious Minister for Regional Reorganization and Development, the Honorable Dan Boche, MP, with the Minister for Planning, Honorable Jan Bafo, MP, the Minister for Local Government and Rural Development, the Honorable Alima Mahama, MP, the Minister for Special Development Initiatives, the Honorable Mavis Kawa Kumsa, MP, the Minister for Finance, Kelo Furiata, the Minister for National Security, Albert Kandapa, and the Presidential Advisor, Dr. Kwame Tufuo, as members to plan and oversee the rapid development of the Ahafu region. And the, other, and the five other newly created regions. In the President's 2019 budget, an amount of 20 million CDs has been allocated as seed capital for the smooth takeoff of the Ahafu region. Nananum, until the appointment of a substantive 
regional minister for Ahafo. I have asked the current regional minister for Brong Ahafo, the Honorable Evan Sopoko Bobie, member of parliament for Snafu North, to act as caretaker minister. Gorso has also been chosen as the capital of the Ahafo region. I want to assure residents of the region, however, the government projects and structures will be equitably spread across the region. This, Nananum, ladies and gentlemen, is the beginning of a better and brighter future, not only for Ahafo, but also for Mother Ghana. With creativity, hard work and innovation, we can together work to bring progress and prosperity to all parts of our country. Let's work at it, and I'm confident we shall succeed. Accordingly, Mr. Vice President, and unknown ladies and gentlemen, I'll now present to the head of the delegation the constitutional instrument CI114, giving effect to the results of the referendum of 27 December 2018, as certified by the Electoral Commission in Gazette Number 12 of 2019, and thereby creating the Ahafu region and sign the instrument of attestation to these facts. May God bless Ahafu region and us all, and may God bless our whole land Ghana and make her great and strong. I thank you for your attention. Thank you, Mr. President. Mr. President will now proceed to sign the document of attestation May I invite the head of the delegation from the Ahafo region in the company of four other chiefs, making a total of five chiefs and five chiefs only, to witness the signing of the document of attestation. The head of the delegation is invited in the company of four other chiefs, making a total of five chiefs to witness the signing of the attestation document by His Excellency the President. President Kufuado there signing the document of attestation that's, that's creating the Ahafo region with the capital being Gorso. So, so far, there's been, there's been four of, of these regions which have received that legal backing. We have uh, Savannah region, the, that is, uh, which has Damango as the capital, the Northeast region, that has Nalerugu as the capital, Bono East region, which has Techiman as the capital, and Ahafo region, the, the very latest one, which has Gorso as the capital. Earlier we told you about the uh, Bono East region where there were uh, there were agitations by the youth especially in Nkranza and their chiefs about how they wanted the capital to come to them. But there's been some reactions since the president made the announcement giving Techiman uh, the capital status. Let's take you live to Nkranza for more on this precious Semivore is there for us. Hello precious yeah, hello, Gifty. Well, we know the people of Nkranza have been against the selection of Techiman as the regional capital for Bono East. How did they receive, uh, react, when they, 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 their fears finally uh, were, 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 were confirmed by the president? Well, they did not receive it well at all. They were highly disappointed, uh, although uh, everything from uh, weeks now pointed clearly that uh, Techiman appears to be ahead of them. Uh, I was walking through the 
principal street of uh, in Kranza when mm -hmm. the president made the announcement. And the exact moment that the announcement was made, you could hear a spontaneous uh, noise of uh, pain all mm. over. Those listening in their cars, in their stores, with the earpieces walking on the street. It was just a spontaneous reaction. Right. Well, and you... that clearly showed that they were not uh, happy. Now, mm. we engaged uh, some of the youth leaders, too. Uh, one of them, who happens to be a Lisan officer, Akuti uh, Ohini, has said that they were disappointed uh, with the president choosing Simon, although they will cooperate so that at the end of the day, the development that they want as a region, uh, they will get it. But there is another group that says that they voted for the MPP with a hope uh, that the president will fulfill some promises, which include the regional capital. And now that the president has disappointed them, they are defecting to another party and also blaming the political leadership in Nkwanza as well as the traditional leadership for doing very little to ensure that what they claim is their best right has now been given to Mm. Well, we can hear some of the people that uh, Precious has been speaking to, uh, and then we'll continue that conversation. Yes. A government that promised us to retrieve our locked up money with investment companies and Ponzi schemes during 2015 16 election campaign have failed to deliver this promise. Have now turned against us to steal our birthright for the people of Kachima. Attack our leaders, MCE, Ata Kusiwa, Charles Kunadu, Derek Odro, and acting president Nana Ajay Bafo for failing us and making it in to be denied the capital of the Blue East region. With our much appreciation of this failure, we say thank you by voting our leaders in 2020 out of power and voting massively for NDC come 2020 election. We say no NKZ capital, no MPP government come 2020. So, Precious, these people that we just heard, who are they? That is a group that says that they belong to the NDC party, but with immediate effect, they are defecting uh, to the NDC to ensure that the NDC uh, will lose or will suffer the presidency uh, during the next general election. Now, now, they are saying that the president once promised them uh, to help them reclaim their lost money through this uh, Ponzi scheme. That has not been fulfilled. Mm. Another promise that was given to them with this regional capital thing has also eluded them. And uh, they are blaming uh, the president, the other political leaders in France, as well as their traditional leaders, uh, for not helping them to get the uh, regional capital ahead of a system. And they are saying that in France is more accessible and it's centrally located in the Penal East. And for them to always travel to the Kiman for people at the far that is a uh, Senate, East and West, through and other places, all traveling to Iceman. It's not something that right. they are happy with. All right. Uh, Precious has also been, uh, thank you very much, Precious, for that update, but he's also been speaking to a liaison officer. Uh, first and foremost, we would like to thank the president for what he has done with regards to creation of this region. But we have to also register our displeasure and mention that we are disappointed, though we accept the capital to be Techima, but Nkranza in particular and the rest of the Bono East Enclave, apart from Techima, all of us, I can tell you, are much disappointed. Why are we disappointed? My brother, we used to travel from Kedeji, uh, Kwame Danso, Atebubu to Sunyane. Now we are creating a new region, and the most important thing now is accessibility. Huh? The very last community of our region, that is Bono East Enclave, the very last community, has been selected again as the capital for all of us. So that we have to spend not less than 24 hours from Kedeji, 48 hours from other places before we can assess our capital. 
Now, brother, what is the criteria for this selection? That is what we are, we are, we are asking of. What is the criteria used to select Techman as our capital? But nonetheless, what do we have to say? All that we have to say for now is to cooperate and be ready to work for development for the entire region. But I have to state and mention again that we accept the pronouncement of the president, but we are much disappointed. So four regions have been created so far, given the legal backing so far, and the capitals have been announced accordingly.